Hi Aries and welcome to your Witchy Wednesday. I hope all of you are doing well. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards and get some witchy energies for you for today. It is the midweek and um, let's see what's happening in the energies for Aries. I'm using this witch's wiz the witch's wisdom. So let's see what we get for you Aries here. Spirit and angels, please show us for Aries. What do they need to see? Ooh, so I got the guardian familiar as your cat. So this is your guardian spirit animal, the cat or your pet. Um, it's a very important energy. You have to honor your pets, your familiars. They have a connection to the other side. You know, animals can see the spirit realm. Um, it's got a frog and a cat, but your familiars are very important to you. I have heard some false things like people say, oh, a familiar spirit is a demon and this and that. And I'm like, where, where do people get these funny ideas? Um, so your cat or dog can see the other side of the veil. They can see spirits. They can see angels. So, you know, you want to take care of your animals, you know. Um, they also are, they are here to protect you and comfort you. They're little gifts. Like, animals are little gifts for you. So, um, a lot of people don't see animals that way, especially, you know, certain parts of the South. And, you know, they see animals as like an outdoor animal. I don't see animals that way. <laughs> I see animals as spirit beings that, you know, are here to help you. <clears throat> so I just wanted to do a little side note on this Witchy Wednesday. Um, I did go and see the Chris Angel show a few weeks ago and I was blown away. It was seriously the best show ever. It's like a life-changing show. You feel different when you come out. Now, um, it's not really for little kids. It has kind of... A, um, risque outfits. There's no nudity, but it's a very, very good show. Another show I saw is David Copperfield, also a fantastic show. Different, slower, more mystical, but a fantastic show. Definitely worth checking out at the MGM Grand. All right, so I'm not paid to say that. I just want to share it because, you know, nobody ever told me how good these shows are <laughs> and I'm like somebody should know like these shows are amazing so what's going on for you Aries you've got your familiar spirits um, let's see what um, if we have a spirit animal or, or let's see what we have for a magical spell this is the magical spell deck I have what magical spell energy is around my Aries friends? Get organized. Something you might need to get organized. Knowledge. Romance. Okay, romance. Let's get one more. Oh, there we go. Letting go. Safe travels. Letting go. And it's the magical spell of having safe travel protection around you. Okay, grace. Doing something with grace. Politeness. Depending on your um, Aries placements, if you have like an Aries moon with an Aries Mercury, and then, you know, maybe your Mars is in a malefic plan or a malefic sign, or if your Mars is in a, a water even, you know, your emotions are driving your power. So, you know, you could get emotionally charged up over things. Um, being rude, being blunt, uh, being um, insensitive to other people's feelings, depending on your Mars and Saturn placements, 
Um, I know if you have a Mars in an Earth sign, tend the tendency is to um, do whatever it takes. And even if it takes, you know, being very harsh to someone. Um, because you see it as growth. You see it as a benefit. Um, you know, whatever that is. Kind of like boot camp. Like, it's worth going through boot camp and being yelled at because the benefit... So, whereas, you know, somebody who has a Mars and a water sign might be like, this is too much for me. Like, this is not going to work. But let's see. Spirit angels, please show us the energies for Aries. I feel like I've done this reading already a couple of times. I've had some glitches. So, I'm going to go slower. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's coming up for Aries. <clears throat> Please show us for Aries. First house of the Zodiac. What do they need to see or acknowledge, Spirit? Emperor. Star card. So the main energy is taking back your power, knowing who you are, choosing yourself, having oversight kind of stepping back, not really jumping in and taking action. The emperor is oversight, personal power, personal ownership, oversight, not necessarily jumping into the mix. The root of the issue is nourishing, healing, and release so that hope, you can have hope again. Seven of Cups is underlying that. Confused due to choices. Multiple options, multiple things. Okay, and the challenge is that getting up and go energy. Um, that last minute, hurried, rushed, adventurous, you know, fire. Underlying is the, we have the chariot. So the chariot is you're determined. Someone's determined. It is the energy of cancer, so it's the emotions are strong. We have a water sign masculine here. Somebody taking action on their feelings. Could be a somebody with cancer placements. Ooh, we got Libra. So now we have justice, enforcement of truth, correction, the sword and the scales, enforcement of balance. You're making something fair. Ten of Wands, taking on a lot of responsibility, <clears throat> personal, personal fire. So you feel like it's worth it to do this. Your energy is Queen of Water. You're connected to how you feel. Now there could also be a water sign. We have a King and a Queen of Water. So this could be a person from the past. Page of Swords, somebody's watching, spying, curious, getting information, asking around, not co maybe coming right to you. That could be a person, too, who's a little blunt or rude, um, immature. Your fear is Five of Coin, being left out in the cold, not having enough, being excluded from something that you invested in. And what is the outcome here for Aries? Did it jump? What is the outcome here for Aries? You, you're going to make up your mind because you think that something is worth it. Worth it. Three of Cups, Three of Wands. You're going to make your choice. You may be notified. Someone could be notifying you of a move or something where you're going to be uh, personally responsible for something. You could be promoted with the Emperor card. Um, what's this Three of Wands? Four of Coin. Holding back, holding on, being very cautious. Not wanting to take any risks, or somebody else is not wanting to take any risks. Okay, what is the Four of Coin about? Seven of Swords. 
Somebody doesn't want to give you the information. It's blocked. They don't want to share the information. Knight of Swords. There was like some kind of urgency. So you feel this isn't fair. Why is this Page of Swords like this? Ooh, it's a tower. Okay. You could be preoccupied with other things, making a choice to focus on your passion. There's a, a tower with a page of swords. Like somebody may have um, observed, watched, created drama. Why do you want justice? That's the forefront of your mind. Is this needs to be corrected. This needs to be made fair. Um... So what is this tower energy about? The star card, hope and healing, letting go, releasing, nourishing, releasing emotions. The star card, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a younger Aquarius, page of swords, but the page of swords is kind of someone who comes in and causes like a little bit of trouble. Um, why, so you've made up your mind. What are you doing here? Wow, okay. Two of Swords. You don't have the information. Nobody's told you. This person looks like they've held it back. Here we are with the Seven of Water. Confusion due to multiple choices. Three of Pentacles. Connecting to others. Um, a small team. A small group. Three people or... A small group of people who are working on something. The sun shines on something here for you to see. Your energy is water, so you may have already sensed this. The sun shines on it, which means it'll be exposed. I'm surprised the hermit card's not here to expose. The hermit has a lamp. The hermit goes into the cave to do self-discovery and comes out with the lamp to shine it. So it's a discovery. What is this all about for Aries with the sun? Okay, not bad at all. We got nine of cups. Personal satisfaction and personal wish fulfillment. Your wish is coming true. Something is very satisfying. There is a king of air here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Temperance. What is Aries wish coming true here? What do we have for Aries? Oh my god, I said I w I'm surprised the hermit's not here. Here's the hermit. A discovery has been made. You know, somebody discovered something very important. The wheel turns. What is this star card with the tower? Somebody doesn't want to give up, doesn't want to quit. They are very persistent. Okay, what is your energy as queen of water here, Aries? What is this about? Queen of Wands, picking up the wand, taking action, getting involved, delegating. So there's a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Water. These could be two people in your energy. The sun shines on something. You want justice. You think it's not fair. Underlying the energy is determined to go forward. Now, Seven of Pentacles, looking at the investment and the value, even the price, the cost, the return on the investment. Am I going to get back what I put in? Okay. What is the hermit? Somebody comes to you with their feelings about what they've discovered. They express their feelings. And what is this here? Hangman. Something is stuck. It's uncomfortable. It's sacrificed. It's, you know, um, having an awakening, having a discovery. Ten of Cups, a lot of happiness, fulfilled emotions, family issues. Um, what's going on in Aries energy here? Queen of Water, Queen of Wands, the Ace of Coin. There's something being offered or something that you offered to someone. What is this Ace of Coin? Ten of Swords and the Six of Coin. Okay, so it's the ending of a situation that may have been 
stressful. We have a six of coins. So something is being given to you to bring you out of the cold, to elevate you, raise you higher. It could be charitable. Um, okay. Why is there a seven of cups here? Multiple choices, multiple options. The world card, a great success and a great achievement. Something's gone full circle. Everything's been done that can be done in this particular situation. It goes from the fool to the world and back again. You know, you have to start something new. We have the wheel turning in your favor. So you're being given something here. Some kind of gift or benefits. <coughs> it's something you'll be excited about with the three of wands the chariot, but with the tower in the environment. What is this tower in the environment? We had a nine of rods. Somebody might be ill with the nine of rods. It can be physical exhaustion. Doesn't want to quit. Nine of coin. Okay, that was your part of the outcome. Our independent energy. Somebody doing something on their own. Eight of Cups and High Priestess. Somebody's walking away from something, leaving it behind them. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio energies. They're following their heart. We have the victory. Someone could be going public with something. They could be leaving. But this is the hero's march. This is the hero's victory. What's Aries energy in all this? You started with the Emperor. Six of Air. Seven of Rods. Somebody defends their position. What is the Emperor about here? The Judgment and the Lovers. This could be a person from your past coming back. I think we had the King of Water there. The Queen of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That could be you saying no or putting up a boundary. Four of Coin, again, holding back, being cautious, not wanting to take risks. And then we have here Nine of Cups. Again, it's like your wish coming true. Ah, Seven of Swords is still in the cross. There's some kind of like situation where someone doesn't want to share the information they want to keep it secret or private they have the information but they don't want to release it the magician the magician secrets <laughs> okay so your energy is capable adult willing to help following your intuition um there's something being offered to you that's like a gift or a benefit something that's going to include you in something where there's a, a big shock or a surprise in the environment and you may get this information um, there's been a discovery or some kind of discovery where someone comes forward with their feelings maybe it's an apology if you end up as nine of cups there could be somebody who is you know, sharing their feelings on a certain matter, um, expressing how they feel when you're wanting justice. I mean, you may have felt like something was very unfair to you here, Aries. Um, you're in a very compassionate energy, queen of the water and a queen of the fire. You're willing to help. Um, you know, that Gemini energy of hiding things, be, keeping secrets, not being up front, I feel like it just causes more problems for people because then in the end, people don't know what, where they stand. They don't know what's going on. In the near future here, Ten of Wands, you have more responsibility. What is this Ten of Wands? Things get easier. Six of air, moving on, moving out of conflict. The strength card, courage, inner strength. Could be a Leo you're dealing with here. What's the justice that Aries wants? The lover's card and the justice, okay. 
something about a love relationship. We do have something being made fair or enforcement of correction. We did, the devil is here. Wow, okay. So what's this uh, queen of water? Why are you following your, your intuition? Or you just know something. Oh, because nobody's told you, two of swords. Nobody's actually told you the information, so you have to follow your intuition. Three of Swords, something's done at the last minute. Heartbreak, last minute energy, two of fire. And what's this outcome? King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Defending, pushing, defending one's position, defending a situation, being on the defense. What's the Nine of Cups? The tower. So there's a shock or a surprise. A tower's in the environment. Something unplanned. Why don't you know this? Knight of coin. Okay, why is Aries in a two of swords? It could be a tough choice. Three of cups. Other people connected to social energy. And a six of coin is here. What is this connection to other people that Aries is having? Page of Fire, Aries, Leo, or Sag, exciting or excitement, and a Page of Swords, curiosity, um, minor petty conflict, spying, watching, the Fool card, and the Hierophant. Somebody is doing something, breaking free, new, fresh, and the Hierophant is, you know, an established order. So there could be something brand new coming in for you here. The Queen of Air and the Ace of Pentacles with the wheel turning. Very positive changes. Someone's making a decision, enforcing a, a situation. Maybe it's like a lawyer, a judge. And we have an Ace of Coin, a new beginning. Or I'm sorry, a golden opportunity. Oh, the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles. There's an obsession with money or an obsession with um, family com connections that are long term. The devil is con like obsession, something where you don't have control. It could also be limitations, something where you can't do what you want to do. Ten of Pentacles, though, offers a, a firm foundation. The devil can also be very, very strict or like kind of abusive, like overly strict. Look at the world. Something's gone through the cycle again like this this whole cycle is done it's over with looking at the investment and feeling disappointed seven of coin okay so you're getting information or news from someone who you could be dealing with somebody highly immature um, they, they don't even have the real information, I feel like, Page of Swords. But the Page of Swords comes forward for a Queen of Swords. So what are you doing here with the Nine of Cups? How is this your wish coming true, Aries? Six of Air, Nine of Coin. You get to move on and do something your own way independently. Okay, how does this work out for Aries? Emperor three of coin. There's something here about power or oversight, leadership, leaving something behind you and three of coin, connecting to others where you can depend on them and they can depend on you. We got justice and the ace of coin. So you have this new opportunity. Um, maybe it's a settlement, maybe it's money, but this is coming in for you here. And the wheel brings in change. Why are you four of coin? Somebody doesn't want to take any risks. Hangman, five of coin. Feeling like they have to sacrifice or they'll be in an uncomfortable situation. Something where you'll have no control over it. You won't be able to choose. The hangman is like submerged. Also having... Uh, Awakenings, like having uh, epiphanies. You could be having an epiphany. 
not wanting to give up here on a four of wands somebody is um, very committed to their family or their group the wheel turns why is Aries Queen of the Water Pisces Cancer Scorpio defending a position and a page of cups somebody is on the defense they're being defensive Nine of coin, independent energy. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They're doing something on their own without without anybody else. Seven of cups. They like multiple things, multiple choices. Can't really make up their mind. Um, they like kind of, mul their mind's kind of like in multiple areas. What is this page of swords doing? Why do we have this page of swords? The ace of coin we know it was a tower too so there's something shocking going on an emperor the magician the death something's being fixed or arranged there's a choice okay Let's see what we're getting in the uh, love oracle here for you, Aries. There's a discovery. You'll be very happy with this discovery. Nine of Cups and the Hermit. Virgo energy. What's here for Aries? Keep in mind, though, you are dealing with a page of swords. Blunt, rude, um, not very knowledgeable. Somebody who likes petty conflict. Deception. Wow, out of all the cards, we got deception. Um, you know, deception says someone is wearing a false mask. Attraction. You attract romantic love. It's time to disconnect from the world and retreat. Okay, so Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay. Let's see, I'll get a few more cards here. Show us Aries. Show us Aries. Six of Air. Things will be getting easier for you. Your life will be getting easier. Yeah, there was something toxic or around you that was too controlled, too limiting. Um, lovers, could be new love in your life for some. Nine of Cups, your wish coming true. Personal celebration, the lovers, Rec can be reconciliation. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So we got here Ten of Pentacles, a long-term connection, money, financial wealth, security. Ten of Cups, ooh, with an Ace. An Ace of Cups. I feel like possibly you won't know what to choose. Like if this is some kind of like dream that you never thought would happen, I could see how like all of a sudden you're like, uh, I don't know. Like I like all that, but... You know, because it comes in with a seven of cups over and over again and a page of wands. So, and it's in, with a two of rods energy. So that could be like somebody says to you, do you want to go to Hawaii tomorrow? And you're like, what? Okay, sounds good, but I've got a lot to take care of. Night of fire. Yeah, see, the problem is, is it's rushed. It's not, it's like last minute. The goddess, empress, the moon. The king of fire. What's the outcome? The queen of air. This person gives you the information. They rush in. They tell you this information. Eight of coin. Nine of swords. 
there's a lot of conflicted thoughts around this whatever it is that's being offered to you because it's in the moon energy there's a maybe there's not a lot that's known maybe um something is a mystery it could be mysterious on purpose meaning somebody's not telling you so you have to trust your intuition and what's this all about for aries what's this wish coming true seven of cups multiple choices venus and scorpio i like all of it it's like can i just have all of it i want all of it um Hierophant, okay. There has to be a protocol that's followed. There has to be, you know, maybe even paperwork filled out. The wheel turns, it's your good luck and your good fortune. Five of Wands, competitive. Other people want this too. Page of Cups, some good news. Happy news and the sun. Very, very happy, positive, optimistic. And the truth. Okay. With the death card. So something changes with the with the healing and the release and the letting go. Ten of Pentacles. A lot has been invested. I just have been saying major changes are coming. Um it is a major change, but at the same time, it's kind of like something that you'll enjoy, you know, um, the spell of manifestation. Very nice. So we have spell work going on. Um, you can use the candle magic. You can do um, intention spells. Just write, write what it is you want on a piece of paper. Um, put the intention out there. Prayer, um, connecting to the divine, your angels, your spirits. Um, ritual invocation. Wow. So you could be doing some kind of ritual to invoke spirit, um, which is prayer. I mean, prayer is invoking your angels to protect you or spirit or God. We have the spirit of your ancestors and remembering. Genetic line, knowing your genetic line. Um, but your spirit is not a part of your genetic line. Like your your spirit is, you know, outside of you. It's your spirit. It's not your genetic line. Do a magical s spell of protection around yourself as well if you feel you need to. You can use sage. You can use salt holy basil you can put it around the front door and say you know i'd like to i want create a, a circle of protection around my house i just have an evil eye emblem at the door to you know and it seems to work foundation of the homeland and watchtower of the winter Ooh, the Chalice Cup of Ultimate Fulfillment. Very nice. A hex. <laughs> A banishment hex. Okay. Um, I would not do hexes. I mean, that's not something I do. I would do hex removals. Um, hexes are, you know, anything like that where you're like trying to control the energy I, I could do a banishing, but I would not do like a hex hex to prevent someone or bind someone um, or send negative energy to someone um, because it can come back to you. But you just, I wouldn't do that. Um, so that's what I have for you, Aries, for your witchy Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Um, highly recommend Chris Angel Show in Vegas. Also really recommend going to David Copperfield. It's pretty good too. I mean, it's, it's shocking and just mind blowing. So thank you Aries for watching my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye Aries.